My name is Sarah Mitten and my business is called Rhubarb Rhubarb Creatives. So um, I have a strong belief that all businesses can have um, a social impact, whether they are private sector firms or social enterprises. I'm hoping to generate money through delivering storytelling for leaders. I um, run workshops with schools and with organisations that perhaps can't afford to be paying so much. So I feel like I'm giving back to the community. My name is Stephen Tanet Nash and I'm from Faultless Fitness Limited. I noticed there was a gap in the market in Hereford, which is where I'm from. There was a lot of training for or facilities for bodybuilders or people going interested in, in that sort of line of work. And then there was CrossFit gyms and there didn't seem to be much for people who needed to have access to facilities for health reasons, so your clinical patients. I went from being 13 and a half stone when I was younger, I was about 16, I was 13 and a half stone, disenchanted with, with life. And then through having that goal and getting my weight down and progressing, I found that it had a knock-on effect on everything else. And I, I found that it's inspired me to push myself forward in life. My name's Amanda Summers and my main business is Half Pint Workshops. I was one of the winners of the Creative Lab um, funding this year, um, which enables you to have £2,500 and business support for a year, set up your own business. And my business was to run some creative workshops um, for children in schools, based on like some illustrated picture books that I've been making. It was mainly from like the success of some of my degree work where my second year project based on my granddad's World War II evacuation um, was recognised by the Dutch publishers um, Lemmiscat um, International and it made me realise that I thought this would be quite a successful avenue to go down so I started writing picture books based around the World War II and I found that um, in schools they need the educational side of things but they, they're looking for more fun fun ways of teaching children, like the curriculum. 